Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. We're going to use the factor theorem here, but before we look at this, I'm going to remind you of the remainder theorem because the factor theorem is a special case of the remainder theorem. So let's just write that down. So when we're dividing a polynomial by x minus a, the remainder can be worked out because we could write f of x as some quotient multiplied by x minus a plus the remainder. When we put x equal to a, the remainder turns out to be f of a. So we looked at that last time. So what we're looking at this time is the factor theorem. So that's where we want to know when something divides exactly into a polynomial. So we're thinking about our polynomial f of x being equal to something or other, some quotient, multiplied by x minus a. So this time, the remainder is 0. So that means that when we substitute in a for x, f of a is just going to be 0, because the x minus a will be 0. So that's all we need to do. We just substitute in a for x and put f of a equal to 0. So let's just uh, move that across to the other side and start looking at the example. Right, so looking at part A first, we've got a factor of x minus 2. So all we need to do is put that equal to 0. So we want x equal 2. And then we're going to evaluate f of x when x equals 2. In other words, we're working out f of 2. So we're simply, simply replacing each occurrence of x by 2. And then we've got minus 5 x squared, so minus 5 times 2 squared, minus x, that's minus 2 plus 6. And then, working that out, so 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 5 fours are 20, and minus 2 plus 6. So we've got 16 plus 6, 22, take away 22 is 0. So if f of 2 is equal to 0, then we know that x minus 2 is a factor of, of f of x. So that was straightforward because we just had um, one x in our factor. In part b, we've got 2x, so a little bit more thought needed in there. So let's just clear this. And then in part b, we need to put 2x minus 3 equal to 0, so 2x is 3, x is 3 over 2, or 1.5, whichever one you prefer to work with, and as before, we'll be putting that in as our value of x. So we're going to work out f of 1.5, so 2 times 1.5 cubed, minus 5 times 1.5 squared, minus 1.5, plus 6. So working those out we get 6.75 minus 11.25 minus 1.5 plus 6. So we're getting 12.75 minus 12.75 so we get as required 0. So that tells us that 2x minus 3 is a factor of f of x.